if you watched the previous video on how to draw a turkey for the skies, um, I showed you at the end how we can use lines to create a zentangle. Now, I just want to continue giving you a couple techniques and pointers if you wanted to do this. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to continue um, designing my, my turkey feathers. So, I'll do, ooh, I'll do some circles with that. Okay, so I would continue doing this. Then, what you could do is, if you have a black pen or a black sharpie, or a thicker sharpie, or not everyone has a sharpie and that's okay, if you have a black colored pencil, and if you don't have a black colored pencil, you're welcome to use crayon, and you don't have to use black at this point. If if you feel like you only have a black crayon and you, you drew your um, designs really small, if you do really intricate designs, you can just go ahead and highlight some colors. So for example, let's say if I don't have a black writing utensil, and I'm going to take a couple colors, I want to work on this one. I can, I can just trace my line with the color that I want. Oh, also I can, I want to make this orange and this lime green. It looks kind of yellow, but... Okay, this is just one option of coloring if you just want to do it with only crayon. Okay, we just, I just really want my line to show. And again, there's different ways of doing this. You don't have to do it like this. This is just one option. I'm going to show you a couple more options. So I want to color in my little zigzags with this orange. And you can use different colors, of course. And by the way, this, this is all just an example. There's so many ideas. You don't have to even choose from here. If you wanted to make up your own, you can go ahead and do so. Go ahead and color in these lines. Okay. And then I'm going to color in between. And sometimes the colors with crayon, they kind of bleed through. And that's not bleed, but they um, kind of drag, the color drags onto the other color. And that's okay. I kind of like it. I actually really like it. It gives it a lot of texture. I like it. Oh, you can even mix color. I can take some of this yellow and drag it over. That looks kind of nice. Okay. Now, let's see if you have a pen or a really skinny Sharpie. You can also do this. You can you can trace your entire turkey. Now I'm showing you different examples if you want to stick to one style. Okay, you can just do that. And then once you have these lines traced with black Sharpie, and I like these like skinny, I like using, I, you know, when I didn't have any Sharpies, I used to use a black pen. Like I used to go to uh, my dad's office and grab like a black pen. That will work the same if you're able to get your hands on one. Again, if you can't, you might just want to stick with the crayon option. Also, I'm going to just adjust my dots. Like that. And then, you know, if you want to add color, if you want to color each section. You know what? I don't like using one color. That's just not fun for me. I am going to use two different colors. Or actually, I want to use a lot. Maybe I can make those into a rainbow, actually. So maybe I could do like this red. Well, this is not a red. This is a red violet. It's okay. I didn't mean to use this color, but it's okay if I... There's no mistakes. Only happy accidents. Oh, uh, 
say. I'm gonna make it look like a rainbow. So boy, G big, red, orange, yellow, and blue. I don't know if I have enough spaces because there's seven colors for the rainbow, but it's okay. We'll see how far I can go. Now, of course, I would not, I should not be jumping to this stuff. I should finish my entire turkey first, but that's okay. I just have to show you, I want to show you how you can add your design and color it in so many different ways. So I'm going to need green, I'm going to need light green. I want you to really have fun with this. Coloring is so good for the brain. We have way too much screen time. And this is just very relaxing to do over Thanksgiving break. And I really can't wait to see what you come up with. And if you chose the other option, and uh, if you chose the other option, I'm disguising your turkey. And you can even try both. I would love for you to share what you came up with. Okay, now for the other option, um, well, it's kind of the same thing. You can just use Sharpie. You can even use, if you like, you, if you have marker at home. If you don't have marker, that's okay. Right now I have some markers. I have, I'm going to just see what I have. I have a lot of green. Okay, so... Maybe I have marker. And you can always mix up marker and crayon. But you have to use the marker first if you're going to mix up. Kind of like with what I did over here, if you have anything that has ink that you wanted to add, like marker or pen, I'm going to add another swirly here. this with crayon first and then add marker because you would actually ruin your marker or your pen. So you have to do this. You have to, if you wanted to do it this way, you would have to use marker first and then your pen. So here's my example. If you wanted to make it all black and white and use a lot of, lot of design, to create it just, you know, a black and white zentangle, you can even do that if you didn't want to add color. It's up to you. So this was just all uh, just different ideas on how to color and design your turkey. And again, I do have a slide with more diagrams of these examples. These are just inspiration. You can use um, different shapes or any lines that you can think of. Alright, so I hope you have fun with this. I can't wait to see what you come up with.